Today we're going to look at the reliability of electrical connections. We're going to be looking at conductors that are either fine stranded or stranded copper and how they can be improved by using ferrules. This is something commonly used in panel wiring in industrial situations. However, when we sent out on social media photographs of the use of ferrules, it kicked up quite a stir. So therefore, we're going to address what the problem is first and how it can be solved using a ferrule. So what I've got here is a 0.75 millimeter squared flexible cable, okay? And it's commonly connected to things such as fuse connection units. I've already stripped it to the desired length and twisted the conductors up. I am going to double it over. It's quite a large hole in which it's going to go into. And then we're going to insert it in and see what happens when I tighten that up on those stranded conductors. Okay, so that's nice and tight. I'm going to back off the screw. Let's have a look at what's happened there. Okay, so we can see there that we've got our conductors sprayed out now even though we twist them nice and tight they're now just sprayed out so there's less of them being in contact and it looks like it's weakened the copper in the area of the other part of the conductor as well so a slightly weakened area here and we haven't caught every single strand we thought we had by twisting it up but we haven't let's see how we can overcome that by using the ferrule on the neutral conductor so we're using the German color coding system and we'll do other videos between the different color coding systems. This has got a white shoulder on it for 0.75 millimeter squared flex. So let's strip back our conductors. Okay, so if I insert this like so, I can strip that back. And then we just place it into the actual ferrule. Into the ferrule like that. And we take our crimping tool. What's really good about this crimping tool is it goes up to 16 millimeters squared, but on the smaller sizes gives you a guide in order to get it in. So we can just pop our guide into position, push our ferrule through, squeeze it up. Super simple. It's inserted into our termination and let's see what the result is now with the ferrule. So I'll get it nice and tight, back it back off. And we can now see We've got a really good solid electrical connection there in the center of the actual ferrule itself. It's got every single strand because the strands are held within the actual pin itself. So we know we've got the best possible electrical connection. We haven't got any weakening of conductors like we had before where the screw had gone in and, and maybe damaged some of them and certainly sprayed them open. We've got the maximum surface area of the electrical connection by using this ferrule. So let's have a look at another problem you can have with fine stranded copper conductors. Okay, we've got a connector strip here. This could be in a central heating controller system. You could be crouching down, trying to obviously poke your electrical connection in. So let's position that into here and see what happens to the conductors when we go into here, like so. And then let's tighten those off again, as we did before. And we'll see whether the conductors themselves have any issues. Already, you can notice that we've got a stray copper conductor just out there at the actual base itself. There was no twisting going on this time. I just positioned the cables in there and we've got a stray conductor there, which is not good. Let's see what's happened to the actual conductors themselves when it comes out. Okay, I think we can clearly see that that is a little bit of a mess. We've got three or four maybe strands that were grabbed and then these ones here probably weren't. We've also got one that's just actually poking out that actually never even got into electrical connection at all. So we can clearly see there's an issue there. And again, let's do it again, this time using the ferrule and see if we overcome that problem. So as we're using now one millimeter squared flexible cable, the actual shoulder on the ferrule now is identified in this system with yellow. So let's strip back the conductor. I'll use the neutral this time. So let's strip it back to the desired length. Like so, and then, then just position it into the actual ferrule itself. Pop it in there, so we're in. I'm going to use the guide again, so if I move that to one side, I'm going to use the guide again. So pop it through my guide, and then just cr crimp it up. And let's see what sort of electrical connection we're going to get now into this connector block. So if just take a position like so. I'm just going to probably do one of the screws. Just screw that down. Okay, nice and tight. Let's back it off so we can have a look at that. And we can compare the two. Okay, 
So as we look at those, it's, it's fairly low down. It's in the copper part here. So this is copper, it's tinned, but it is copper. And we can see the comparison. We got all of the surface area of the conductors here within the actual ferrule pin were electrically connected within the connector screw. Whereas previously with the stranded conductors, we had them sprayed out and we didn't have the maximum surface area making that electrical connection. So we can see the benefit there of using the pin within the ferrule. So let's just show you the tool that I've been using today. The diversity of this tool is brilliant. It goes from 0.08 millimeters squared up to 16 millimeters squared in this one crimping tool. With a lot more data coming in for things connecting like CTs, etc., we're now working with this conductor here, which is 0.25 millimeters squared. So we're gonna have a go and see if we can put a ferrule on the end of this conductor. So if we pop that on there like so. Okay, and then I'm gonna use my guide. I'm gonna pop it down to its smallest position on the guide. Just drop my conductor in, and there we go. And that would make a lovely, fantastic connection with such a small conductor. You know you're gonna get a quality electrical connection when making that connection. As I said, it goes all the way up to 16 mil, so this tool can also cope with this size as well. We'll have a look at doubles next. So we've clearly seen how a single conductor going in a ferrule makes a better electrical connection. This time, let's look at a dual one, a double. So in other words, I've got two CPCs here and I wanna join them two together inside a ferrule before making an electrical connection. What I like about this is all I've had to do is remove the PVC. I'm not twisting these conductors together and I'm not doubling them over. I'm simply gonna insert them into the double 2.5 millimeter squared ferrule, like so. Push it into position. Take my crimping tool, this time move the guide out the way, pop it in, crimp that one up, and now I've got both conductors surface area in one pin in order that I get the best possible electrical connection before putting it into the actual termination itself. So when I pop it in there and now I tighten it up, I've got both of those conductors firmly, securely under the screw within the actual electrical enclosure itself. So let's just back that one back off and just pull it out. You can clearly see just there, bang in the middle of that piece of copper here, which is the pin of the actual ferrule itself, is where we made that electrical screwed connection with both conductors together. That's gotta be simpler than twisting conductors and doubling them over in order to make the best possible electrical connection. I think we clearly proved on the bench top by using a ferrule, you can make a better and more reliable electrical connection. Imagine now you're in a room, it's poorly lit, you're crouching down, you're in a panel, making many connections within there. The ferrule's got to come into its own. Think about maintenance or converting the circuit to have a different control system, and you're removing and reinserting the terminations. The ferrule again's got to come into its own in those situations. In videos that will follow this, we'll look at ferrules themselves, we'll look at the color coding, we'll look at pins, and we'll look at the tools in order to connect them. However, in this video, I think we clearly demonstrated to the electrician that when we strip out our conductor, there's no twisting, there's no doubling over, just a simple ferrule will make a better electrical connection and save electrician's time. And we like that at eFix.